Hey, how you doing everyone? It's Jordan here with today's review of a nice little retro collection, which is something of a theme this week if you stick around tomorrow. But anyways, this is the Vallis Collection. If you're familiar with Valis, great. If not, obviously I'm inevitably gonna give you the elevator pitch about it. So this was a short series of games from the late 80s to mid 90s. Action platformers that led the vanguard in having a young female protagonist as the hero. All about empowerment and obviously getting a glance at her skivvies. Fingers crossed she's over 18 lads, eh? Hmm, awkward. They were never mainstream hits and depending on which versions you played, they were either awful or great. And well, this package contains the PC engine releases, which were the best of the bunch. Now let's get that elephant's ass out of this room. Yes, you'll see that I'm playing in Japanese because this package has not got an official English release yet. It's only out in Japan later this week. The English version will not be around until early next year. But you know, it's Valis, the action platformer's language is not the most crucial. Sure, they were one of the early examples of a developer taking the story of the game somewhat seriously, and along with classics such as Ninja Gaiden, it's actually pretty heavy on the cutscenes, and then some. I mean, actual animated cutscenes with lips moving and everything. Almost witchcraft at this point. Interestingly, of the bunch of games here, it's actually Valis 1 that has the best production value due to the PC Engine version being a remake and released after 2 and 3 on the system. The original was an MSX game that was largely met with apathy, but this version, this was critically acclaimed at the time. And it's easy to see why, the presentation is just sensational. All the cutscenes are voiced, but as this version is in Japanese and there are no subtitles, not even Japanese ones, never mind English, who knows what on earth they're saying, I suppose I could look it up on YouTube, but why would I do that when I could make up the story in my head? Now that's where things get interesting. Ha 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 ha. It appears you have spilt ketchup all over my brand new shawl. This cost me $300, young lady. You will have to pay for it with your pocket money. No, never. I only get $5 per week. <laughs> it appears you also spilt it on my forehead. Now, money. So yeah, not a big deal as long as you have an imagination like myself. The other issues, maybe the menus, after you choose which game you want, you are greeted by a massive wall of Japanese, which looks terrifying. But hey, for those adventurous enough to get the Japanese version, it's super simple, nothing scary here. Look, I've translated the menus for you, you're welcome. This also gives us a glimpse into what options we have in this collection. You can see it's been put together with a lot of care and love for the series. You can view the original manuals which are sexy as fudge. I goddamn miss manuals like this. You can listen to the soundtracks which is frankly worth the price of admission alone. These games have kick-ass soundtracks which were really brought to life with the PC Engine CD thingy mabob. Here's me pretending I know what I'm talking about when actually I don't. I would consider buying a soundtrack CD for these games but now I don't need to with having this on my Switch. Amazing late 80s anime soundtrack, proper boss. You can watch all the cutscenes including the endings which is perfect for practicing your imaginary dub. You can load your save file. You can view the controls. You can remap the controls. You can watch the credits of those who put this together. There's a special thanks page for some reason. And most thrilling of all, you can take a gander at the licensing. Whoo, what a ride. So how about the games themselves? Well, Valis 1, 2 and 3 are rather commendable action platformers. They play rather similarly in the fact that the controls are simple enough. You have a jump and an attack button. You can use magic, often in the classic Castlevania style of pressing up and attack at the same time. Remember the PC Engine came with a two button controller. But for two of the games here, you have a slide, which is cool. You can get different effects for your sword and get absolutely cheesed by the enemy, a staple of the era. As you can imagine, these games are not exactly a walk in the park. There's a really nice challenge here and you'll be swearing that if you ever, if you ever met the designer of these games, you do some rather undesirable things to them due to their design decisions. Respawning enemies, blind jumps, enemies shooting off screen before you even know they're there. This has got all the retro masochism you desire and I'm being serious with that. I know no one ever knows when I'm joking but genuinely I really enjoy having to learn the quirks of the game, knowing where the enemy is going to be. There is trial and error but it still takes skill to pull off even when you know what's coming and you can give it a good go even when going in blind. It likes to kick your ass and laugh at you but also gives you a chance if you're scrappy enough. 
Valis One is the star of the show and comes closest to reaching the status of a classic. This is followed by Valis 3, whereas Valis 2 is by far and away the least accomplished of these in terms of both its level design, controls, visuals and ambition. It definitely seems like a generation behind the other two. These are hardly Rondo or Blood or Super Ghouls and Ghosts, more like a tier below that. And Valis 2 is a tier below that one as well. Although it is saved by its soundtrack, which is obviously great. But I think altogether they are well worth playing because they're fun. And they're a nice look at a console that almost no one had the chance of playing. Valis 1 is just a well-rounded game with visuals and mechanics really up to par. Everything comes together in a nice way, especially for the era. They nailed the level design and presentation. Valis 3 is pretty decent in the fact that it goes the Castlevania 3 route of being able to switch between party members, and the platforming sections are such a step up from the barren feeling of Valis 2. So there is one very obvious omission from this collection, and it's the fourth and final game in the series, as long as you don't count the lesbian porn visual novel that has amples of tentacles, Valis X, and yes, that is a thing, and yes, you don't want to look it up. Valis 4, it was also released on the PC Engine and Super Nintendo, and the only reason I can think of for not including it in this package is because the Super Nintendo version is on Nintendo Switch Online. Maybe there's some contractual bullshit, I don't know, that's just my guess, although feel free to spread that rumor around if you're one of those people. In terms of features added to the games themselves, there's not a whole lot. I'm sure you'll be making ample use of the save states if you don't want to take the time to learn every inch of the games before you can complete them. Heads up, save is the first option, load is the second option. In the menus, I did accidentally load an old save file after I'd beaten a particularly tough boss instead of saving. Imagine how great I felt after doing that. Again, I'm sure I've put translations up for you, but you can check the manual, you can remap the controls, which you may want to look into as you can add an auto-fire kind of thing. Plus, the last option there makes the button instructions on the bottom left corner go away, and it looks better. And you can also change the screen settings from 4x3 to pixel perfect or to widescreen if you enjoy images like this. And you can finally exit the game. So this is available on the Japanese eShop for 5,280 yen, which is 35 pounds, 46 US dollars, and 41 euros, which is certainly on the pricey side, I'm not gonna lie. As I've stated multiple times, this Japanese release does not have English, and I don't think there are any plans to add it even when the localization is finished. Remember, this is being put up for pre-order by Limited Run in January, where they have the English exclusivity with the physical version, at least. Always love language exclusive physicals, but yeah, there's going to be a digital release on Western eShops with English, but we don't know when that will be done or how much money it's going to be. Or there's a Japanese physical release, which of course does not have English, but it isn't really essential in my opinion. The story is kind of guffage and it's more fun to make up your own story. And I've also pointed you in the right direction with the menus anyway. Honestly, language, not really an issue. So yeah, if you want a physical version, I've popped links down below in the pinned comment and the description as to where you can import a copy and support us at the same time. If you click the links and buy something, we earn something and it really does help support us. Plus, in return, if you click our links, then you can also get a very nice 5% off any physical item from Play Asia if you use the coupon code SWITCHWATCHTV. While checking out, that's all one word, Switch Watch TV. while checking out for 5% off any physical item from Play Asia. And of course, you get a nice physical cartridge you can keep forever. There's also some Japanese eShop credit down below if you want to go digital or, you know, just, just wait for the Western release. Up to you. I'm not your mom. Make your own goddamn life decisions. Overall, this is a nicely put together package of three completely unessential games. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy playing them, they put up a nice challenge, they're fun, and the music is frankly spectacular. These are the best versions of the games available, and they provide me with a nice little history lesson of such. But yeah, they're hardly legends of the genre, or gems lost to time. The price is also a bit much for three PC Engine ROMs, but the package is put together well and with love. I like the games, they are nothing super special, but they're fun, especially for the era. Valis 1 and 3, I'm pretty sure I could pick up and play at any time. Valis 2 is just a step below, so I can't see myself returning to that one 
too much, even though I, I did kind of enjoy it. They're not top tier action platformers like Rondo or Blood and such, but hey, they are also slightly pervy, so that's cool. A 7 out of 10. Alright, if you fancy picking up this Japanese version, then consider using the links below. Either the physical version or some eShop credit. Big up to our executive producers. Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Jcross7776, Elisa, Punky Dooster, Michael Del Polito, Cartoon Soren, Jack Severus, Robotech, Z, Raven Knight, Thorn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Government Fat Cat, Issa, V, and Mental Traveler. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching right now. If you watched all the way through, you're a massive legend. Give me a sword emoji in the comments so I know who you are. Check out some of our other content, physical Switch games every Monday, digital bargains every Sunday. We also have a multitude of other content such as lists. Lists are always popular, right? Yes, go watch them.